The time is 12.01 a.m. At location site, redacted, Foundation Security Advisory Level, Tuscan Yellow. Broadcast Schedule, Limited. Broadcast Frequency 93 point, redacted. Backup System Protocol, Empty Seat, on standby. Welcome to Foundation After Midnight Radio, the late night radio show that serves the global foundation community with site announcements, interpersonnel news, and other entertaining audio segments. If you believe you have received this signal by mistake, please stay where you are. You may have questions such as, what is the foundation? Where is it located? How does it operate? Please continue listening for more information. Clearance Level 01 Accessed While much of the information is classified at its core, the Foundation stands to protect humankind, the planet Earth, and the prevailing reality. There exist groups, entities, and phenomena that threaten human life outside of what is deemed normal, rational, and acceptable. Accessing recent archives SCP-3024, the Doxing Ghost Account, SCP-3009, the Insulting Sentient Skee-Ball Machine, and SCP-3040, the left hand of a former Foundation agent which now hosts an extra-dimensional void of unknown volume. Instances are secured, contained, and protected when possible. Neutralization is held as a last resort. The Foundation is not cruel. The Foundation is calculated. The Foundation is listening. Memetic Kill Agent. Audio completed. All unauthorized listeners neutralized. Stalling protocol successful. Thank you for listening. For listeners who are still conscious, the Foundation After Midnight Radio team thanks you for your patience during the increased security measures. Your regularly scheduled radio programming will now continue. Welcome back, listeners. You are listening to Foundation After Midnight Radio. Whether your clock is analog, digital, or doomsday, it's always midnight somewhere. We are newly relocated over here at site. Well, I still don't think I can say that on air. Redacted. Nope. Still scrambled. Ever since DJ Skip got, uh, well, since he got kidnapped, things have been a bit tense around the facility. Just take a listen to this voicemail left on the radio hotline number. Listen. Andrew, whoever is on this other end of the phone, we need to talk. After that, well, you know, Foundation broadcasted, like, I'm sorry. Look, you don't know me, but I am the secretary for the O5 Council, and hang on, something going on out there, I don't know. Anyway, I am the secretary for the O5 Council, and they have told me to contact you about this whole like, radio broadcasting kidnapping of DJ Skip. It's causing, apparently, a lot of panic across multiple sites around the world, and several high-level researchers have stopped their jobs just to, like, check in with the O5 Council. And it makes my job a living hell because I have to deal with all the file complaints, and there are a lot of them. Figure out what the hell happened to him, or I will come over to whatever site you're at and just personally kick your shit in. I have over 4,000 emails to sort. Like, don't get me wrong, your show is loved, but... (sighs) And there's been a few others that have come in through various channels as well. We here at the radio station do appreciate your concerns and thoughts on finding DJ Skip, though, to be honest, I'm just as in the dark as you are. The various Foundation security groups have been in and out of here a lot, but they really don't tell me much about what happened. If you have any thoughts on DJ Skip's, uh disappearance or have seen anything suspicious, feel free to call us at 512-937-2346. Our voicemail is always open. Now let's get to some of tonight's announcements. First up, the first annual 5k lab coat fun run, Running from Science. Oh, wait, that says running for science, not from, sorry. The event is all ages and all physical fitness levels. Everyone is welcome. You can run, walk, or wheel at your own discretion. It's good exercise and good practice for all your researchers out there. Uh, Funds raised go towards the Mana Charitable Foundation this year and their unnatural disaster relief efforts. 
Sign up today and pay your entry fee to secure a 5K Lab Coat Fun Run 2017 t-shirt for yourself. Personnel are welcome to bring their own lab coat. Otherwise, all fun runners can pick up a running lab coat the day of at the starting line. I think... Yes, this is it. On your mark, get set, sign up! (laughs) Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I've been playing around trying to turn off the backup system, and I found the soundboard controls. Anyway, moving to the next announcement, this one might be a little less healthy for you. Due to an incident during a standard anomalous item testing at Site 87 in Sloth's Pit, Wisconsin, sites are being shipped truckloads of Lay's brand potato chips. Apparently, a researcher Brian Cohen was upset about a test missing from the authorized test list assigned to him by the Foundation's Smart Test List Initiative for a slightly luminescent nacho bowl. Previous tests had included wearing the bowl, bombarding it with amusingly high levels of secret radiation, and seeing if the bowl made people's bladders weaker. From the report notes, it seems Brian initiated an unauthorized test of the object himself, pouring a bag of chips into the bowl. Despite the bowl showing no anomalous properties during the 300 prior tests, this action caused the entire test chamber to become filled with chips. Though researcher Brian Cohen was severely injured during this, he is stable and currently recovering. The chips have been deemed safe to consume after additional testing and have been sent out for all to enjoy. So enjoy your free chips, everybody. Thanks, researcher Brian. And now to the weather. Hello? DJ Skip? You in? Uh, hi. We're, um, I'm, I'm on the, didn't you see the big red light above the door? Hold on a sec. Let's go to some SCP music. We have Redacted's Lament by personnel DJ Cinder for your listening enjoyment. Audio entertainment. Paused. Resuming live feed. Okay, I went to a song. Now what are you here about? Also, wasn't that door locked? Negative. And this will just be a moment. You're not DJ Skipped. Have you seen him around, though? No, because he got kidnapped, like, a while ago. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Why he's missed so many sessions or not returned my texts. Yeah, you didn't hear the broadcast or get the memos about it? Listen, the application of amnesthetics is not an exact science. Well, it is an exact science, but one that also makes you forget things like what happened last week, or your birthdays... Or how to tie your shoes. Are you wearing Velcro strap shoes? That, that, that's neither here nor wherever DJ Skip is. I was just coming by to make sure he was still interested in our s b sessions. What is that? Like a foundation kink group? No, gods no. It's like D&D, but for super scientists with enough fantasy in our lives already. It's great after a long week of monitoring squirrel nights or sending in D-class to fight in a wild hunt to just... Open a beer and pretend to be someone whose only concern is to pay their mortgage. S and B? It stands for Suburbs and Bosses. For three to six players, everyone drafts up their own persona with normal skills and day jobs. Think of it like a homebrew tabletop version of The Sims game, only more social and focused on everyday challenges and triumphs on a home base level. We meet Thursdays at 7 p.m. in Site 17 Multipurpose Room, usually going till about 9. Next Thursday, though, we're starting at 5 until 7. The room got booked before us for a presentation of the Level 1 Research Staff Laboratory Introduction by Dr. Eisenberg. Did you just pitch me? Was that a pitch to join your game sessions? I mean, no, not exactly. I might have gotten carried away there a bit. But would you happen to be interested? You could pick up DJ Skip's character, Mr. Fax. Part-time teacher, part-time lead bass guitarist in a local band. Huh? Eh, I'll think about it. Maybe DJ Skip will be found before the next session, and you won't even need me anyways. Let me know before next week. If you do attend, we ask that everyone bring a snack food item to share. Bag of chips or carrots. Uh, sure. Hey, I'm going to get back to this radio show now. Thanks for asking about DJ Skip, though. Yeah, sure. Hope he's found soon. Wow, kidnapped. I don't remember the last time I was kidnapped. Going back to broadcast now. Uh, Of course. Break a leg. And we're back. Wait. Why was the music paused? 
Oh, crap. Did I leave you guys with dead air for all that? Sorry, folks. We love all our listeners and friends of the Foundation, though maybe hold off on stopping by the broadcasting booth until off-air hours. We are always up to hear from you, though. You can email Foundation After Midnight Radio at scp93.famradio at gmail.com. If you have a Foundation role-playing group you partake in, why not tell us about it and what kind of character you play as? That reminds me, actually. Here's the announcement from the Infrequent Sports Corner. Sign-ups for site intramural sport teams are now open. Join a team, get some exercise, and mix with other personnel. There's softball, kickball, cricket, volleyball, soccer, bowling, and more activities that are more or less sports, with various leagues for various levels of competition and athletic ability. As listeners may remember, I'm on the Foundation Intramural Softball Team, the Preserving Pendants. Depending on your site, you might end up with the Critical Tomatoes, Site Redacted's team, formerly known as the Unkillable Lizards, the Site 19 Staring Statues, or the Site 66 Vegetables. Er, Veggie Bulls. Vegeta Bulls. Get it? Because they're vegetables. Live feed. Paused. Audio entertainment. Resuming. Please enjoy the remaining three minutes of audio from Redacted's Lament. Resuming live feed. Finally! This is getting out of hand. I'm gonna have to get some of the tech guys in here and turn that thing off for good. Maybe I can file a technical issue with that technical researcher, David Rosen. Any personnel who have information on the double containment breach that took place last week are asked to give a statement. 
An investigation is ongoing as to what caused the hostile biomechanical construct SCP-2427-3 to breach its containment at the same time as a large humanoid originating from SCP-407, the Song of Genesis's test chamber. While the testing of SCP-407 was scheduled and standard precautions were taken, Dr. Mueller and Dr. Mulligan were sadly killed during the breach. The D-Class personnel Connor that was recovered at the scene where the two SCPs crossed paths and fortunately neutralized each other had been part of the test with SCP-407, and he claimed his mind was invaded during all of this. Details on the SCP-2427-3 breach are less clear, as all the personnel involved in the daily scheduled goat feeding were killed by the carnivorous walking hazard. Any details can help prevent future tragedies like this. You can call and leave a tip at 512-937-2346. Okay, the higher-ups want me to spend some time talking about the groups of interest, or GOIs, that the Foundation is aware of and that personnel should keep an eye out for. Here's a few of the usual suspects. <clears throat> Are we cool yet? Overview. A collective of anomalous artists, or anartists as some might call them, members of Are We Cool Yet are either capable of obtaining or producing anomalous objects and using them to create art installations. These are often placed for maximum public exposure and can be fatal to bystanders. The phrase Are We Cool Yet is almost always present in some way. The Global Occult Coalition, or the GOC for short. Overview. The GOC was created in the aftermath of World War II by the Allies from various defecting occultists, priests, and scientists from the Nazi, Soviet, and Allied forces. As the world stage broadened, so too did the number of countries that had forces in the GOC, until it became what it is today. The GOC are a largely political force, seeing themselves as the police of the paranormal world. Priding themselves with destroying supernatural entities, they make use of the most high-tech, experimental technology possible. Many potential SCPs have been destroyed by them before the Foundation could secure and contain them. They have been both on the side of the Foundation and against it at times, depending greatly on the situation. They largely hold the Foundation in contempt for their use and containment of SCP items, rather than their outright destruction. The GOC has respected the Foundation's formidable might enough to leave it alone, mostly, although there have been some questionable incidents which the GOC have strictly denied involvement with. All agents of the GOC are to be treated with suspicion. The Serpent's Hand and the Wanderer's Library Overview the Serpent's Hand is a small but formidable organization, though the Foundation's information on them is limited. Almost all known information about the Serpent's Hand has been leaked from GOC intelligence. The total number of members belonging to this organization is unknown, as is their level of technology, number of possible SCPs held, or their total threat level. It is clear, however, they are coordinated and dangerous to deal with. The group seems to embrace the use and existence of paranormal items, and in particular seems to embrace humanoid and sentient SCPs. The Serpent's Hand has also been highly vocal in criticizing the containment and neutralization of sentient SCPs, especially those which are fully human and are not particularly destructive. The Serpent's Hand seems primarily based in an anomalous location called the Wanderer's Library, a building accessed through portals found in many different parts of the world. Direct assaults on the library have so far proven unfeasible, even when these entrances could be found. Attempts to infiltrate the Wanderer's library are ongoing. That's our announcement on groups of interest to keep vigilant for. Reminder. Pumpkin spice flavored beverages are strictly prohibited in light of the recent containment of E8820. For details, please see Site 87 General Mail, Re, Subcutaneous Ginger, sent last Wednesday. Sloth's Pit Department Heads, please notify your teams. Oh, this is maple pecan spice. I'm sure it's fine. Here's a quick proverb of the day for you. If a D-Class personnel dies screaming in agony in a containment cell, and no one is in the observation room to document it, do they make a sound? Huh. I wonder if DJ Skip usually proofreads these announcements ahead of time. Well, good night all you fine Foundation listeners out there. Stay vigilant and stay safe. I'm sure, wherever DJ Skip is, we'll hear from him soon. This has been your assistant radio host, DJ Twisted Toaster. A toaster. A toaster. This podcast is produced by Toad King Studios. Be sure to follow on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Toad King Studios. Right now, you can head over to etsy.com slash shop slash 
Toad King Studios to check out some new SCP pins, prints, and other cool designs available. Also, consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash toadkingstudios to directly support the series. Script for episode 08, The Radio Show Must Go On, is written by Toadking07, aka Eric J. Stover. Me, the automated backup system, is voiced by Lisa Flanagan. Andrew, our assistant radio DJ host, aka DJ Twisted Toaster, is voiced by Paper Airship, aka Stefan. Researcher Carter, who didn't actually name himself in the episode, is voiced by Thomas Wayne. DJ Skip is voiced by Kyle Stover. Special thanks to our caller voicemail featured in this episode. If you'd like your voicemail featured in an episode, give us a call sometime. This episode's music was Redacted's Lament 1 by SCP DJ Cinder. Check them out on SoundCloud for more MLP remixes. FAM Radio Intro Music Jingle 6 by Hambling. Want more FAM Radio? Stay tuned! All episodes are uploaded first on YouTube at youtube.com slash toadkingstudios1. Wherever you're listening from, though, please rate, comment, and subscribe to show your support for this series. You can also follow FAM Radio to get your daily SCP memes, jokes, and other shenanigans on Twitter and Instagram at SCP underscore FAM underscore radio or on Facebook at SCP FAM Radio. Kind of all one word there. All content relating to the SCP Foundation is released under Creative Commons Shareable 3.0 and all concepts originate from the SCPWiki.net. All reference material and inspiring works and their authors are credited in the space provided. Check the description below or the SCP FAM Radio Facebook page for the complete list of links. And lastly, from me to you, thank you for listening and supporting FAM Radio over all these years. It's been a lot of fun working on this podcast and I hope to keep bringing you guys more. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Foundation After Midnight Radio Hotline. DJ Skip is not available. Please leave your name and site number and someone will get back to you. Goodbye. Hey, Andrew, uh, Foundation agents listening to this. <laughs> I uh, lost my phone when I got grabbed, but I had a backup phone hidden on my purse. <laughs> These guys don't know who they're dealing with. I almost feel sorry for them. <laughs> oh, they're coming back. Gotta go. Bye.